by Thomas McClellan and George Gibson. So guys, welcome back to the uh, Virtual Party episode 8, I believe. Episode 8 or 9. Episode 8, guys. It's been so long. It's, it's been, been so like long. Months Do you know how long it's been, George? It's been that long that uh, you've went through two girlfriends. Well, <laughs> I, I don't know if you, if you go that far, but... Uh, I mean, I well, mean, the last episode you were on a date. You were, on a, you were dating someone during that episode. Yeah, dating yeah, someone. Well, and then obviously that ended, and yeah. then, you know, all that sort of shit. And then you went on to... Edinburgh, but we'll go for it. We'll talk oh, about that okay. later on in the okay, episode. Okay. And it's been that long that I actually had a date and it ended very, very badly. Yeah. Let's just say that. Let's it just say that. It ended blood, sweat, and tears. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, so I just wanted to bring up a, a topic um, that was very interesting. You brought up to me actually. Oh yes. Uh, about Peru. Peru. Do, there was, do, uh, you, some... do you want to tell me what happened to Peru recently? Yeah. So um, there was a picture that surfaced right um, on TikTok right of a man. Uh, <laughs> who had his whole face removed, his whole skin in his head. like So from the neck up, all of his skin was completely removed. Wait, what? And it was just bones. It was just bones. So almost like Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Exactly like that. Exactly yeah. like that. Holy and, uh, shit. The, the rest of the body was intact. So how does that work? But he was obviously dead. Yeah, so how does that work? Uh, well, they call them the face peelers or the skin peelers. And do, you know that, <laughs> do, you know, do you know what that reminds me? The PSNI. Oh, do you know, no, do you know? <laughs> the, the, peelers. the peelers. What? Uh, what? Oh, no, do you know what? Do you know what that reminds me of? Our next guest, because uh, <laughs> just like how our guest does makeup, the guy got a facelift. Oh, well, Didn't. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't think it, I don't think it... <laughs> Chris is just looking at me in shame. I don't, I don't think it helped his cause, though. But, no, uh, no, it didn't help his yeah, cause so at all. there's apparently aliens in Peru now, and they're invading. Well, I think so. they're always in Peru. I mean, look at the temples. I, mean, I know yeah. we talked about this in all of our episodes yeah. in the podcast about aliens and stuff like that, but I mean, like, come on, Peru, I mean, you see the temples? Do you see the kind of kilts they wear? Skirts? They were nothing. <laughs> they were nothing in Peru. They yeah. were tits and dicks and everything. That's well, all. Was. They were uh, the birthday suits. But do you know what else we need to talk about today, George? We, we need to talk about, about makeup. No, we need to talk about makeup. Do you know why? Because oh, yes. you need one. Because you are an ugly bastard. Yeah, I need. I, need, I could. I could do. With, uh, <laughs> you need a facelift just like the aliens. An opera fell over. You need a facelift just like the aliens. I know. So, so yeah. Someone... So speaking of uh, makeup, so we're bringing on our very special guest on Instagram. She goes by Glamorously Gorgeous, and her business name is Glamorously Gorgeous. Her motto, her business business is that her products are not there to make you feel good on the outside but also on the inside so guys please welcome on board Carrie. come on down hey. hiya hello everyone how, how are, are you? we all how are you good how are you are you nervous no <laughs> you okay i, I think yeah. you're nervous <laughs> i'm chill george are you warm uh no no it's it's, a, it's a freezing cold in belfast today it's tw minus 20 degrees so <laughs> <laughs> So, Kerry, yes, yeah, so we brought you on to talk about your business. So, tell me, how did Glamorcy Gorgeous start? So, I was a beautician for years. Um, my mum was a hairdresser and a beautician, and I learned a lot of skills from her. And when I was working in care for a long time, obviously I was working with elderly mm. people, especially during COVID, no one was able to get in and out. So, I just implemented then my services and their beauty treatments. And then, sadly, this time last year, I fell sick with seizures. Um, obviously alongside my mental health it wasn't great so I took all of my knowledge and my qualifications and went into cosmetics. Oh very nice and uh, was that always your passion? Yeah I think so because when I was in school um, there's like this prestige sort of standard mm -hmm. amongst women neither of you are so you wouldn't maybe understand but well George is a very feminist guy. Yeah George. Oh I'm a he, he big feminist. Woman. Yeah. He loves women. Yeah. I love women. I love women. So um, there's always sort of you know it in sort of secondary school and even maybe now in your 20s you're always sort of wanting to look the best and you know I think looking back to secondary school there was so many like girls using awful products yeah. for their skin and I suffered with acne yeah. so I think there was just that sort of like challenge amongst everybody mm -hmm. too and even now nowadays it's I would say it's gotten worse yeah. through social media like this expectation and standard almost that you have to be slim yeah. and very pretty face yeah. so my whole target yeah. within that was to change it yeah. you know yeah. within the, the I know because we were looking at your your website the other day and we were just looking for it and we came across your like almost like a like a motto if you mm. if you will and it's probably like um how you want to make everybody feel not good on the outside but also mm -hmm. in the inside and yeah. that's that's regarding mental health in the way, isn't yeah. it? About like heart looking good on the inside mm -hmm. as well as about mental health. How does mental health come into to your business? Like how does how is that implemented into your business? Well, I think because there is such a pressure as women to 
to sort of look so well on the outside even if you're not feeling great you know I remember back when I was sort of 18 and someone close to me had said well just put makeup on and cover whatever yeah. you're feeling it will make you feel better mm, nah. but natural mm, fact yeah. it's not good it's like, to it's, like, it's like that thing about like putting over putting on a mask yeah you're, you're exactly hanging yourself that. sort of thing yeah, yeah and yeah. you know with me speaking online about my mental health I have found like great comfort yeah you know we have so many younger women even older women in their 70s 80s that have came and spoke to me in public yeah and they have thanked me and even parents of these girls as well they've thanked me for speaking out about my mental health because quite frankly we we need to implement self-care yeah. and even you as men it's so important like getting yourself to a barber an appointment or just doing something Wait. like making <laughs> a, a barber an appointment well, well, do you want to take out your hat no well that's what, that's what I'm that, that I, I mean like treating yourself you know like use meat for coffee yeah. I always take myself for a coffee if I'm feeling overwhelmed mm -hmm. having a bath going for having a, walk. a shower yep yeah you love your walking walking just anything that you can implement into your routine on a daily basis if you're feeling a wee bit down or like a lot of people would socialize with their friends yes. and stuff like that or yeah. talking to a family member you know so and then I, sometimes they would go the opposite route and just yeah, go down the alcohol yeah, sort which of is route. not good because alcohol is a depressant and if you're already feeling depressed <laughs> no no let's get what that does <laughs> You look very stressed there, Thomas. No, I was thinking about you because that's it, that's very like what she's directing that. Oh really? Yeah, really? Yeah. I haven't had a drink in years. But why well, do you drink, George? Uh, no particular <laughs> reason. To, right? No, no. no. I, I got I have a question for you. Very mm -hmm. important question. Okay, how has Jesus helped you in your life? Oh, well. He has helped and me I love so how much. he changes the subject every time I'm trying to dig him one. He, he tries to change it back. George, just just accept your past is the past, and you have to accept that that's who you're you are. Your forward. past is your past, and you look forward. You yeah. never look back. Mm -hmm. And then every time you get broken up with, you go down the same route. No, no, let's let's not talk about it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. But yeah, in regards to religion, obviously <clears throat> I'm a Christian, and I was always brought up in church, and um, from a very young age would have went to all the activities, GB, all of that. When I was in my teens, I, so I didn't go through a bad time, but I just sort of swayed away a wee bit from church, mm. which we are all guilty yeah, of, you know. Yeah. Um, but I think the most important thing is getting yourself back on track. We all make mistakes, none of us are perfect. And at the end of the day, God is there to help us. And he loves us for who we are. <clears throat> he knows that we make mistakes. And God's really a very important, yeah. you know, no, part I totally of my agree. life you know no, and I totally it's done agree. so much for me so. like uh, it's it's hard being christians in in this sort of like yeah. world yeah. you know that we live in anyway um i mean especially in like these foreign countries you get prosecuted mm -hmm. for just being a christian or yeah. even just talking about god but like i'm grateful that like even like in the uk or even sometimes even in the united states mm -hmm. you know you're you're grateful that you can even preach god exactly. while in other countries well, you, get we're, we're you get prosecuted yeah. but it's going to be <clears throat> yeah, that way for us soon because yeah. of the way freedom of speech is not yeah. well, existing anymore. i think the thing is is you know a lot of the time especially in regards to mental health you can feel like you're doomed that this is like the worst thing in the world but when you look at the news and you look at sometimes the people around you you actually realize that you aren't that bad yeah. off you know that yeah. there's people that are like maybe suffering with cancer somebody's died you know like you said in other countries you're not even able to worship yeah. god or read a bible or anything so i think that perspectively for me always you know i used to sometimes go through things and i used to ask god why yeah and i think looking back on it everything that has happened in my life has happened for a reason and it's given me the sort of platform and the knowledge to be able to help someone else you yeah. know later on so yeah. i think that that's really really important sometimes people get very caught up in the the why or the the downfall that yeah. they they forget later on after they've been through it that there's been a reason that yeah. they've you know they've gone through it so yeah. I think that's important. And too. what was your like? How, I think I'm right to say like what would be your testimony? My testimony. <clears throat> well, I got baptized when I was thirteen, and my testimony was you know I didn't I didn't have a great upbringing. Um, you know, I grew up with a single mother and it was very, very hard through school, got bullied really, really badly. Um, but I think I just remember a time that I was really, really upset and I sort of had asked God. We had done something in my youth group where we had just sort of, you know, it was explained that if sometimes we ask God for things, mm -hmm. he'll prevail and yeah. he'll show himself. Yeah. So I just remember sitting one evening just very upset, I think, about something someone had said to me and opened up my Bible and... Um, it had brought up a verse and it really really helped yeah. me um so yeah that would and what be was my that testament. do you remember that first uh 
Proverbs 3 verse 15 it's all about um she is not like rubies you cannot compare to her yeah, basically yeah. so I just find that verse really helpful. And I love how that kind of like ties in with your business like yeah, rubies exactly. it's all about like makeup and mm -hmm. you know Thomas you do you know any bible verses? Um yeah it's called limelight limelight limelight. <laughs> You can't change the boy, can you? Well, these boys. You can't change this, Chris. No, the, I think it's like Curry. So you can't change who you are. August is the month of let's be a Christian to pull more birds. Well, that's what he's doing it for. <laughs> no, no, hold on, hold on. Well, I mean, well, I mean, yes. I, I had a girlfriend from the Falls Road. Um, was she Christian? Cross no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Was she Christian? She wasn't Christian, but... Uh, what else was she? Well, we had a little house party yeah. before we went to the Botanic Inn, as you do, yeah. on a night out. Yeah. Who um, goes to the Botanic Inn? Uh, Georgie goes to the Botanic Inn. Chris. I used to be all the Chris. In so, fact, the bouncer used to say, not you. Ah, ah, really? Uh, oh. That reminds me of Limelight, because there were some guys like, oh, it's not you again. Yeah, well, let me explain the story. Limelight, Limelight's Lime, Lime, good crack. He loves yeah, it too. Yeah, it's bright. But for a reason anyway but yeah no continue so she got very drunk <clears throat> I was like I only had a few drinks yeah. so it wasn't mm -hmm. too bad and uh, we we were walking to the bus and uh, she was still holding a glass in her hand oh, of, of wine and she just wung it at the bus stop and oh, it nearly hit this old guy God. in the head it just zoomed like that past the top of his head but he didn't even react cause so, it, was, it, was a, it was a false road yeah. so he didn't even react but the thing it is normal. I love the progression this so it goes from a girl from the false road to a yeah. like, pure Christian girl attack in that moment. No, she wasn't a Christian girl. Where no, no, I'm talking about where you are now. It went from Falls Road girl to now pure Christian girl. How does how does that well, work? I'm not seeing it. In that dude. moment, George fell in love. <laughs> nearly hit her, or nearly hit the old man. And then we waited for the bus. She was like, "Yeah, you, you," and she was dancing like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, she was all over. Yeah. And then we got in the bus, and what happens, right? Oh. So we're, we're we're getting into a Protestant Protestant area. Yep. Oh. She is um, more Catholic, Catholic inclined. Yes, and Roman Catholic or Catholic, or, or, Catholic or, inclined or Roman what? Catholic. Just, just, just that's George, what? George, George, I, that's a George. No, no, Roman Catholic, because then you can't be prosecuted for just saying Catholic. Roman Catholic. So she started singing um, sectarian songs on the, on the bus. <laughs> on the would bus. you like to? Would you like to sing it? Go on, sing it. I, I ra, can't remember what else, but she was like, da 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 and she was singing it to the top of her voice. Was she singing Rastasting? I, I don't know. Ra, ra, Rastasting. <laughs> anyway, ra, ra, right. Rastasting. So people were looking at us and they're like, are you going to have a tough night tonight, lad? I'm like, yeah, I know. <laughs> so anyway, there was a man, it gets worse, there, oh, was, a, no. there was a man in a wheelchair, an old man. Oh, no. <laughs> there was an old man in a wheelchair, you know, sitting at the back of the bus and his head was like that. Yep. I think he was sleeping. And she said, is that man dead? Is that wee man over there dead? And I'm like, Please, please don't, don't. I'm like, please, Roof. It's not Roof, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I'll be, yeah, you'll be prosecuted. Why Roof? <laughs> well, yeah, why Roof? That I, sounds I, more I, of like I, a polite name. I don't want to get, I don't want to get, you know, Say in trouble with. Say Jade. No, no, hold on. I don't want to get in trouble. But Jade's not a name that. Say so. blocking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Say Quiva. Or Rosemary. Rosemary. Oh, uh, Thomas, don't get yourself in trouble here. Yeah. <laughs> right, Rosemary, Rosemary, right. So, um, Rosemary, it's like Rosemary <laughs> Beats, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah Catholic, well, Catholic uh, yeah. connotation. So, so I said to her, please don't do anything, you're embarrassing me. And then she was like, just kept saying, is that wee man dead? And then he just did this. He's all of a sudden, he did this. <laughs> and he looked up and he was like, Ugh. so he was alive. Please, uh, please don't do anything. I know. Yeah. I'm a Protestant. And then she I'm started. A Catholic area. I know. And then she started drinking heavily. I don't know how we even got the botanic because we got lost. Mm -hmm. And she started drinking heavily. Right. I'll I'll zoom forward a bit. After the after the night out, um, we decided we couldn't get a bus back to Falls Road because right. it was too late. So we walked yeah. to Falls Road from Botanic. Who yeah. walks that? That's not that far. But it's even worse. She you started wearing a coat and hat, were you? No. <laughs> On that occasion. Well. At that point, they were probably topless anyway. Yeah. So. Uh, you really walked that far. For <laughs> yeah. Deal? So what? Oh, yeah. I don't uh, believe um, it. So that's why no, 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 no. he was desperate. He was desperate. What happened was, what happened was, we were walking on the way, and it wasn't a nice walk because instead of saying "I love you, sweetheart," yeah. she you was saying, she was saying, "Oh, get, my ex, my exes, my exes." She kept oh. talking about her exes the oh, whole walk. Right. We went, we went to McDonald's. Okay. This McDonald's was drive through only on that night. Oh, you told it, me the story? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, yeah. so <clears throat> you couldn't just walk in and buy them. Anyway, she ordered it on the app, and I was like, 
sweetheart, you t- <laughs> sweetheart, <laughs> you sweetheart. do you do realize you do realize that this is drive through only. We can't walk in and get the food. Say, oh no, it'll be all right. Sure, like I <laughs> I walk up to the wee guy in the drive through and I'll collect the food because I did pay for it. Sure, and I was like. All right, and then she said, George, let's pretend to be cars. So she was like, vroom, vroom, vroom. And we walked right in the drive through We just walked all the way up. And the wee lad and the girl there, uh, they said, normally we would do it for you, but we would be sued if we if we give you the food. And she was like, oh, would you fuck up? <laughs> and uh, so... What'd then, you say? Would you fuck up too? And then, and then we walked home. And well, George, can I just say... You know, that, was, very, that was a desperate very measures. long story. <laughs> it I was think, a long story. I think once someone is that intoxicated I'm and they're desperate. then wanting to attack the general public, that is the stage yeah. that you go... Run away. This is not I, great. That's where red flags... Red flags. Exactly. Uh, it's well, like... Well, Chris, four, four apparently. Chris knows about her because <laughs> I, I was talking to yeah. Chris about her on the last podcast yeah. when we broke up and then we got back together yeah. two days later. Was this a... One that's back the one. Back then? Yeah, yeah, no, that's yeah. not. That's yeah, yeah, not yeah, yeah, Iron Man's. He, that the episode he was on was on the. No, Iron no, no, no. The last no. podcast I talked to him. Oh, right, okay. Anyway, so we, we broke up, and I said to you, and then yeah. we got back together two days later, and uh, do you know why? And then, <laughs> and then I stayed for another two months, and uh, that was it. And so, how much in total time was taken up by that? Two weeks. Person? Two months. Two. I thought it was two weeks. Uh, no, and if you months. could go back, would you? No. No, but I mean, like, she's... would you change no. your decision? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 100%. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. What if she says, George, take me back? No, not not this time. What if it was, like, the most desperate option you had? Can we clip this, the news it, when he goes back there? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. George... George, if, she, George if you're, if, George, well, if, been, you're been, really, if you're really desperate, right, you had no other option, like, all the girls rejected you, would you run back? No. So you would just... Be alone then, yeah? Yes. Okay, cool. Yes. I enjoy my solitude. I'm like a, I like a monkey. <laughs> oh, do you, do you? Well, who were you talking to before we started this podcast? Uh, someone from Antrim, but that didn't uh, work out. <laughs> anyway, uh, we did go to Scotland, but we won't talk. Like, uh-huh. we met someone very talk nice. About it. And, uh, well, we'll I, just I, say, I we'll just say. I'll tell Carrie something. No, no, we'll what, just what? say it was, because we'll just say it was a good visit, you know. With some... Thomas, 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 you know Thomas. What? <laughs> no, no, I'll say it was a good visit. Yeah. We enjoyed visiting Scotland. Yes, it's yes. actually the architecture is unbelievable. You see yeah. the little buildings mm-hmm. and all. Right, we're changing topic. Yeah. Right, um, we we our, have we have our table is filled with. No, 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 no. I want to oh. talk to Carrie. Right, so obviously, as you can tell, me and George are not great with the women. Yeah. But we did oh, have dear. we did have a professional text us with some. Wait, 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 with, no, no, with let me some, preface with, this. No, shut up, shut up. No, I. We you haven't met our friend Jonathan. Jonathan no, Boyd. Well, he we, is he is professional. We call I know him, who he is. We right. call him Johnny Bravo because yeah. he's got he a way of He is professional. He's professional. He has the biggest dad riz yes. in the world. It's unbelievable. Now, tell me this, right? If you were use, if you heard these pickup lines from the master himself, who claims to pick up girls in Spain all the time, which he is currently right now, would you would say you say, would you say this works would you on be you? Be with a man. I've been having some success with the knock knock jokes recently, so maybe try a couple of basic knock knock jokes. Knock, knock. Who's there? Police. Police, tell me I'm your type. <laughs> Does there's that more. blow you? No, there's more. There's knock, knock. Who's there? Wendy. When do you think we can go on a date? <laughs> <laughs> there's more. There's more. The Titanic one is. Um, do you want to play Titanic? You be the iceberg, and I'll go down on you. Ah. Ah, well, that's from the okay. master himself. Apparently, if you were in a club, <laughs> if you were in a club and, and you heard someone that man, approach you and yeah. said that, yeah. would you be taken away by it? Would you be taken away by that? No, I'd probably slap him. <laughs> well, Johnny, sorry. Well, well, the, sorry, the Johnny. The Titanic one. Uh, he doesn't really sound very enthusiastic. I think either. because he's also very hungover because he's right. he's over in Spain. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. no, Johnny, so, Johnny, sort it out. Sort it out, Johnny. Uh, if you need advice. Yeah. Come to me. <laughs> That's the best people. Ask a female. Ask a woman. I asked Tanya and she didn't no, help me at all. No. Right, well. Tanya sabotaged you. Yeah. I yeah. don't have chat up lines. Just be normal. That's not normal. <laughs> well, Johnny. Johnny, there you go. You heard that from an actual woman. But I do, I do have to say, sometimes there's women who would say, just be nice. Oh, you I hate that. that. I hate that. The opposite. The day go for the opposite. Yep, yep. Well, I, I hate think, that. It's such I bullshit. I think the thing is, like, there's this persona amongst men that like all women like bad guys. Like, realistically, we're in a day and age where, like, not a lot of George, guys are gentlemen George, anymore. There's a difference between bad and being a pedo, okay? So. 
What were you saying, Kai? <laughs> I, I think a lot of, like, obviously with movies and stuff, you, you there's just, like, persona amongst men that they want, like, like women want bad boys. And it's, it's, it's a lot of shite. Yeah. Like, you, you want someone that's going to be caring. Yes, okay, I suppose maybe some women like, you know, domination, whatever you want to call it. But, like, most women just want someone who's pleasant and will buy them flowers and... You know, let us know if that's not right. Yeah, but yeah. from my opinion, I think you need to be treating a woman but, yeah. properly and nicely. And I think if you're going around moping yeah. and like acting like you deserve, yeah, sure. like yeah. you're entitled, yeah. you're entitled yeah. to yeah. something, you're not going to get nothing, right? No. But if you yeah. go around being the best version of yourself, exactly. Says, go to the get, go to the barbers, make a barber's appointment. Yeah. Always look. You the have best. to love yeah. yourself yeah. first. Yeah. Yeah. You know, exactly. and, like people used to say that to me, and I used to go, "Oh, why is that?" <laughs> like I love genuinely now at twenty four, love myself, yeah. and that's how I know that people will pass me by. There's a reason for people coming in and out of your life, and yeah. quite frankly. I couldn't care, you know, yeah. people get too in their heads about, oh, what about this, and you know, anxiety, yeah. I have anxiety, I get it, 110%, but you need to really work on yourself exactly. first before you're getting exactly. with someone That's else. That's why I was like, I mean, I've been on and off the Dean thing for about two years, but like, I, I just figured out, like, if it happens, then it happens, and like, I would go on occasion, like, ever, the Dean asks, but like, if I don't get a match, like, it's not the end of the world, I mean, my career is my, my goal, mm -hmm. like, that, like that, that, to, that, that's what being my joy. You your own passions, your own things to do, yeah. you don't need to, once you start depending on someone, yeah. that's where the problems come in, and as long as you know that you're a good person, you've got good values, good morals, and that you will be good to someone, yeah. Who cares what people think? Yeah. I don't care. Do Absolutely. Care? I no. don't care. <laughs> George, you always care. Uh, no, I'm all right. So you, oh, so can you do this for me as a, as a bet? Delete all the apps now. <sighs> do, it, do, it, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Delete do all the apps it. and I want to see it proof. No, I'm not going to. See, because he's desperate. No, no. Desperate. No, desperate. No, Are we talking desperate. date naps? Yes. Date them all. No, why would I delete it? Because delete like Harry said, you don't need someone to tie on well, to. Well, are you going to do it too? I don't have any. Yes, he does. He does. Have Check one. It's Bumble. No, no, it's Bumble. Look, look, look. Bumble. Oh, no, he's it. got more. He's got Facebook dating. That's where he gets all yeah, his matches. Yeah, Facebook dating. But I can't delete. I can't delete. I can't delete the Facebook dating. It's, it's tied to it. You can't actually delete it off. It's not an app. It's That's like an app. excuse. That's an you excuse. Can cancel. You can't cancel it. It's there. Jesus, you know. <laughs> right. Well, I want to see Let's move on. First. Let's move on. Okay, right, so right, we okay. have... Moving on. This table is Yes, we have, as you can see, guys, there's a table full of uh, Pokemon as well, which I don't know why the Pokemon's here. But anyway, we have different Carrie, flavor drinks. Carrie, what's your... Um, actually, name, name what? this. Yeah, name that. I have that. no idea. Name this. I have no idea. Chris, back on the topic, right? So we have these exotic drinks. That's Chris's. Uh, that Chris is, that's Chris's we, uh, fantasy drink. We'll have your um, reaction off screen for that. Yeah. Yes, we're going to try these. So this is Bang Energy. Now we were supposed to do a promo for them uh, ages ago, but they were dickheads and things like that. Anyway. I tried this before. What? Is it nice? Bang? No, don't tell us. Don't tell us. I tried all of them. Oh. Is it nice? Yeah. Look at that. No, I hear. Like. No, you have to get, do you have uh, uh, a cup each? Because remember, oh, yeah. all three of us have to have oh, yes. uh, a drink. So. And then Chris will drink from the thing. Yeah. Oh, is that for me? Thanks very much. Oh, don't drink it yet. Don't drink it yet. Don't drink it yet. I'm sniff testing. Uh, I'm going. It looks like fucking parcel. It does. It don't know. It smells nice. There's your pairs, your vitamins for the day, Chris. Hold on, we one more. So we haven't tried these kind of challenges before no. yet, but we thought we mixed oh, it that up. That smells good. What is that? That's the bang. Uh, strawberry. Right. Here you are, sir. And then just. Uh, George, I need to get your, your bang and then there's your uh, the blue stuff. Blue it stuff. looks a bit like, um, what do you call that, mouthwash? Here, George, hold on. Yeah, it does. Mouthwash. So, George, here's your bang. Thoughts? Thanks. Here, George, here's your bang. Bang in the dirt's gone! That looks like vodka. Bang in the dirt's it's gone! It's right. kind of like blueberry ash. Wait, is that it's your... Right, which one are we doing first? Right, we'll do the blue one first. Yeah. Okay, so what this one is, this is the... The what's Japanese... It, what's it called? Japanese drink. <laughs> <laughs> what's it called? It's called blueberry flavor. It's stinking. You swine. Right, anyway. Right, you ready? Three, two, one. It just tastes like bubblegum. You know it's just it's tastes, just right. tastes Do you not think there's like a taste like as if it's ash? I've tasted ash so many ash times. Ash is in Pokemon Ash. The character. Ash is in like... That is nice, actually. I like that. It'd yeah, be great with I'm ice getting ice a blueberry, yeah. blueberry vibe, but... There's like an ash flavor to it. Ash? Like ash ketchup? Feg ash? As if someone's put feg ash in? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah well. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Right. right, so now we're gonna try Bang Energy, which is watermelon. 
Watermelon. Wait, so, oh, you, you've got yours, oh yeah. So what does it there. smell like? It's watermelon. It smells like fig tree. Right. Where's my drink? Give me one. You can have the can. It's right. I have to be honest, you know what it re reminds me of? Do you know like those waters you get in Tesco? Give me a wee. Yes. Give me a wee. Like sparkling. You want a cup? Like yeah. Yeah. It sort of reminds me of that. How much was it? Uh, fiver. Fiver, yeah. Five oh, coins? From the American, American candy store. This, uh, yeah, 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 for one yeah. Why is this, this oh, candy store over to the door one day? Chris, that tastes like. Do you know the waters you get for 39p out of Tesco, yeah. mate? They say Five it's exo they say it ex exotic, exotic drinks and exotic uh, sweets. Oh, that was good. That, just, that, just put them over there. It's sparkle, yeah. it's sparkling water, basically. Yeah, Why yeah, is yeah. up? Five yeah. pounds. American no. candy store sold it right, which is right. So now we have an I advertise. prefer the blue one over this one to be Get those down. Get those thingies. Right. It smells like fucking <clears throat> domestos. Domestos. <laughs> domestos. That's best. George, you used to you used to that. Yeah. Bang the dirt's gone. <laughs> Bang in the dirt's gone. Right. right. So anyway. we have one more thing here. So we are gonna be trying these. So these are Warhead up. Extreme Sour candy from no, the American really. candy store. So I if you don't know this, I hate sours. I hate sour candies. Uh what's your thought on sours? I like sours, but I, I just can't wait There's until like we limit. do the chip challenge. We're going to no, do a lot of chip challenge. Uh, we're not, going to, not today, we're, but we're going to talk about our next guest yeah. later on. Uh, later on, but anyway, uh, how? What's your thoughts on sour candies? I quite like sour yeah. stuff. Do you? Yeah, but I've I've always found warhead stuff not to be overly sour. Oh. No, no, right. Really. Well, then it's just going to be made. That's going to have a reaction. Okay. Uh, <laughs> great. Thanks, assholes. Anyway, uh, we brought something spicy for him because he. Uh... Right, I'm going to try. What's this one? Black cherry. Oh fuck. Uh, George, I'll get you blue because you're blue. Blue with cider. Uh, and then I'll get you pink. Huh, all right. Oh, thank you. Well, uh, I'll get you if there's another colour. Yeah, yellow. There you go, Chris. Bottoms Wait, up. Actually, we'll get get Kerry to get Chris yeah. to go first. No, I'll get uh, Kerry to go first. Okay. All right, Kerry. So what what's, what's it say in the package? It says watermelon. Watermelon. Watermelon right. sours. Like, hello. All right, ready? Yep. <clears throat> There's not going to be any reaction. There's not going to be any reaction. Oh. It is a little sour. It's a little sour. No. Chris? I think it's the hit initially, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> Chris, Chris, uh, oh, I would have to see if that. I could describe, here, right. If I could describe Chris's look right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, love I love that reaction, guys. Uh, if I can describe no. Chris's reaction, it's that. He's squinting. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh. Uh, uh, I've, I've gone more. <laughs> No. Oh, it's my last. No, it's yours. I don't think mine out because see if you fucking carried that, you'd be in the <laughs> city hospital. <laughs> with You're crying. Getting your stomach pumped for fuck's sake. Mm. Chris, oh. George is used to that. Mm. It's not that bad. I think this is the first initial. I love it. Is that the raspberry? Right. So this is called Tapos Assholes. Um, bit of a bit of a wreck, bit of a kick. Yeah. There's a kick at the start and then it just sort of fizzles. It's away. called Tapos Assholes and it's in the name, right? It's really struggling to get it out of the package. Yeah. Can you help? That's what she said. Um. Anyway. Thomas, <laughs> have some decorum. <laughs> no. Have some decorum, Thomas. You lost your decorum years ago. Anyway. Oh dear. Oh fuck. <laughs> there you go. Can we get him with toxic waste next time? <laughs> if you spit on ah. me, I will slap you. Thomas, you're a swine. It's not that bad. It's the initial hit. Yeah. Once you get past it, it's actually okay, but it's that Clear. initial... I wonder, is there like a thing mm. in the middle, a bit of goo in the middle that makes it... Is there? No. No. See, now it's fine, because I've, I've got all of the sour bit up. But my God. Have another time, someone nah, right. So while no, we no. here, while we eat these, let's, let's continue the conversation. So, yes, yeah, so, right. Uh, actually, I've got some, right, actually, do you know what? This is going to be bad. George, take a drink of that whenever you're done. Take a drink. Oh, are you going to do the uh, spit challenge? Mm -hmm. Try not to spit, obviously. Oh, well, Carrie's on the firing line here. Oh, yeah, do, do you ever see that on TikTok where you... Where you have the thing in your thing. No, and don't, because I, I will wet myself. <laughs> Do you see, Chris? No. So you take a sip of something, water, whatever it is, and then the guy says the joke, and uh, if, if you don't spit out in laughter, then you Seaman. win. Yeah. Yeah. Can I move back. them? Can no, 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 carry, come on. If you spit from me, I will punch them. Okay. 
Do not get it over the microphone and do not get it over me. Yeah, no, 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 bags. It's all ready. Like, <laughs> no one's even I'm said anything. Back, George. <laughs> Near my foot, that's what she said. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> you ready? So, George. <clears throat> Even people who are good for nothing have the capacity to bring a smile to your face. Like when you push them down the stairs. <laughs> no? No? Right, okay, I'll keep going. Right. Do you know the phrase, one man's trash is another man's treasure? <laughs> Wonderful saying, horrible way to find out that you're adopted. <laughs> Okay, come on, a tiny bit, but it was, it was only a tiny bit. It was only a tiny bit. Sorry, right, they're all right. That was a good one. Wait, you have to do me, right? right? When does a joke become a dad joke? When it leaves you and never comes back. Oh, he's all right. He's all right. Right, I need to find others. Uh, just go drink that. Try and bring the microphone a bit closer to you. Try as well. Perfect. It's so good. You're so, so good. Oh, There's Chris. none left now. Chris, Chris, you're a sexy bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't they so good? Yeah. Give me the Dementor. The Dementor. No. <laughs> no, this is what George does. <laughs> That's my mate. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Wait, what's the Wi Fi password? Shut up. Oof. Anyway, I don't mean you recreate that. Do it now, oh, quickly, me. quickly. What? Here, can I get in that wee What are you fuck up to? No, no, I'm just trying to get what in What are you the... fuck up? You ever see that one? Excuse me, sir. <laughs> the... Yeah, that's, that's what I'll make your clips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, this is, this is a weird podcast today, guys. I don't know what it is. I'm hungry. Uh, here, while we're eating, tell us, tell us more about your business, or, like, do you have any plans oh, for your business? On. Let's go, uh... I'm eating. <laughs> Wait, hold on. What are you doing? What are you doing? Should have fucking sorted that... Started it. I know, I know, I know. No, I'm not connected anyway. Right, forget right. it. Forget, forget it. about the dark right. jokes. Right. So, uh, tell mm. us a terrible or a funny, interesting night out or dating experience. Yeah, dating experience. I will say, yeah. What's your worst dating experience? <clears throat> so, <laughs> I, I, think, I think I met this guy on Tinder. So, this must have been about three and a half years ago now. I can't even remember his name. And this, I'm really trying not to be horrible. Okay? <laughs> like, I don't think I'm, like, I'm not up myself or anything. Like, I don't think I'm, like, this amazing, beautiful, uh, you know. But I've lost 11 stone, so I look much better than I did. And I wasn't even, at this stage, I wasn't even, like, morbidly obese. I was maybe, like, 19 stone or something. But there was this guy. Got on great, whatever. I lived in St. Donald at the time. He lived in... Like N- Nogani or something like that. No, oh, the Branyon. That's where he lived, sorry. Oh, no. PDSD, George. And <laughs> maybe, basically... Oh, maybe it was that guy. <laughs> no, what do you look like? What do you, Carrie, what do you look like? Um, was, he, he, was he fat? Yeah. Oh, for goodness sake. What, what, no! Just got, yeah, there's... On the Branyon, like... Including yourself, George. Was he, like... he was like, was he called like race or... No, was he balding? Yeah. Oh, for goodness sake. I, right, I, I, I said this story <laughs> another day, but I so went once to... once upon a time, I George and his Branio. geography got no, lost again. I went to the Branial, right? I went... Oh, I know <laughs> this. Yeah, yeah. No, right, so, see this right, so I'll yeah. tell the story again. So, no, no, no. Um, me I and got lost so, in the so years, years ago, Jack used to live, do you know those apartment blocks in, in Branial, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So, obviously, if you if you live in Branial, there's the, the, there's the two building blocks. There's mm-hmm. one... Bef- there's one at the lower, yeah, and no, then there's one at the top yeah. with the yellow strip, mm-hmm. right? So he said, George, go to Jack's apartment block. It's it's the furthest one. It's the one with the yellow strip. You won't miss it. He's like, right, okay. It gets... It, <laughs> it, gets, it, gets, it, gets, it goes to the complete wrong tower block. <laughs> and he knocks on the door. Of course, a topless man answers. And George's like, oh, uh, no, the guy said to George, are you, are you the guy I'm expecting? <laughs> And, then, and them two were just standing there, no. like, and he's like, "Oh, I'm looking for my friend I, Jack." <laughs> I don't know why I didn't leave at that moment. I, no, what? Like, yeah. I'm mortified. I was just standing there. I was like, "Oh, my friend Jack was live here," and he was like, uh. and, I, <laughs> "And then I said, I said he has a Batman mat on the front of his on the front of his apartment room,' and he just looked at me like, "Oh, you're not the I ordered someone to come here.'" <laughs> 
Or get to know you, you ordered a Yeah, he's like, are you expecting? I, are you the guy I was expecting? And I was like, Is uh, that a thing? Here? So, oh, yeah. Can... So I was looking at him for like a whole minute yeah. and he was looking at me. I was like, oh, okay. And then I walked away and he was just like, sad. <laughs> but anyway, Brandio. So yes. There go. Oh, yeah. Yep. So he <laughs> had met me. I had got the glider down to Ballyhackamore mm-hmm. and we had agreed to go for something to eat in Pizza Express, is it? Mm-hmm. So I met him there and I like was waiting at the table. Didn't he come close to the table? <laughs> and I was like, surely not. Uh, surely not. I've actually just remembered his name, but I'm not even going to tell you. <laughs> actually. Give, give us a fake That's name. In the office. Let, let's call him... Give us a fake name. Abra. No, Abra. let's call, call him Graham. Do you ever see the scene in the office because it's special? Yes. And he's the meal date, and she comes and she's like, oh, for fuck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, was, this was, like, internally, like... No, like, because I have never been on a date and been catfished yeah. like this. Yeah, and yeah. I was like, fuck me, this cannot be happening to me. Because I was just out of, like, a bad relationship. Yeah. And this was me, like, starting to get back into dating. And I just thought, this is not happening. Like, I yeah. mean, this is not happening. And he came and he sat down. And I was like, um, all right, no. And I was just thinking my head, like, pan. I was like, do I go to the toilet? Do I ring someone? Do I, like, SOS? What do I do? So I decided that the best protocol would be to finish the date yeah. like we did get on well yeah. you know but physically there was no attraction yeah. sorry there wasn't and he was absolutely George punch- used to that he was yeah. punching he was punching um, did he and punch you? no no punch <laughs> oh, oh, you George come on I'm joking, I'm joking. Oh, um, but anyways we went <laughs> I wish there was a then I tried to get the glider back up again and I just thought please don't let him be getting on the glider please don't let him be get. and he didn't and I thought oh hallelujah I thought right and he like I think he tried to kiss me but I swerved. Oh. <laughs> and I was like, yes, yeah, lovely dude, lovely dude. Oh, yeah, poor guy, poor guy, poor no, guy. No, it gets worse. Poor guy. It gets worse. He followed me home. Oh, for goodness oh, sake. A typical he Johnny followed, move, a Johnny move. Uh. He followed me home to my flat, knocked on the door. So I must have got in like five minutes yeah. prior. Knocked on the door. Oh, yeah, but I was just like, that's bad. Are yeah. you fucking serious? Yeah, yeah. So I, I rang my cousin and she didn't live too far away. So I was just like, SOS, please help me. Lily blah. She came and then he left. Never heard from him. Well, actually, no. Do you know what? I think he stalked me that much that he like tried to add me on Facebook at the time. And I was just like, mate, like, no, like, go away. You don't follow someone home. Yeah. Like, that's creepy. That's so fine. anybody out there who follows people who... Don't no, do- just don't do was it. Was he standing outside your house or what? He knocked the door, no. And he just stood there? Yeah, and he was um, like, say. oh, um, I thought I would come in. I was like, no, I think the fuck not, yeah. Do you know the definition of desperate? I think that's it. Yeah. <laughs> George hasn't done that yet. I, I went, no, he almost done it. I went speed dating on the recommendation of that man over there. Yeah. I said this. I think it would be good for you to do speed dating. No, we went speed dating. Well, then went, went well. Was it yeah, bad? We went yeah, very bad. That's only once. So no, yeah, but I went it's, twice. It's made me. Exactly. It's made me. This, like made me think about my life. I went um, twice. Oh, was it anyway, bad? for no, me, no, no. yes. So he went with me in the first one. Didn't work. It, it was okay, but nothing crazy happened. Second time was a bit more interesting. Oh yes, tell about uh, that. Tell about. He didn't come. No, he didn't come but day. um, I I walked to the speed dating event. It was at the um. You walked. What is with him walking all these? Tipsy well, bird. You heard of Tipsy Bird? Uh, Tipsy Bird, yeah. yeah. So I, I was there was Bird. a speed dating yeah, event yeah, in yeah. Tipsy, Bird. Tipsy Bird. I, yeah. I've done the speed dating, but I, I went one time, but I went, I'm, don't judge me, right? I'm 40 years old now. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're 20? 20. I don't know what you're on. You don't about. look a day over no, 25. Yeah, right, so, right, but I went, I was 30 at the time, and I went to the 40, what don't be? 40. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be on your social media today. Yeah. Take it off. That was the... But I'm saying, I went to the 42 plus, plus right? Thinking, yeah, it'll be uh, decent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was all OAPs, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, and, like, people old enough to be my ma, really? and I was like in their 70s, and I'm like, What the? Fuck are you doing? Did you stay? I did, I of course, I did. Did, did you get, get, did you get, 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 get some? Did you get some? I got, got one uh, lady who she asked me to go to see the night after. What was it then? What do you call the. I can play two chords. Status quo. Oh, so yeah. I didn't yeah, yeah. see status quo right. right after, but I didn't go. Uh, you stood her up. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, Typical. Um, yeah, so... Um, right, continue. So I walked he's there. He's got Potton County oh. all over himself. Sorry, I didn't mean to stop your, no. your story. No, 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 you're no. right, you're right. Right, um, continue. So I walked there, I was sweating. 
I sweating so much because it was a hot day and I was wearing this Were jacket. Were sweating more than Phil Schofield? Yeah, yeah, sweating more than Phil Schofield. Were sweating more than um, Harvey Weinstein? Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> shout out to Phil Schofield. Shout out to Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> Best two guys in the earth, right, anyway. Continue. So, um, <laughs> yeah, so I was sweating balls. Uh, I go in, I was like, I'm, I can't, I'm too so. I said, yeah. I was actually hungover. I was, I was like, yeah. severely hungover. Yeah. Because I was drinking the night Day before. It, yeah. With, but was I, it was not with me. It was with me. Yeah. And I refused and he, to go. Yeah, that's he, why. he was, he jumped on a car the night before, but that's another story. No, wait. Yeah, was that, that was that was night. Was that my, yeah. my birthday night? Yeah, yeah. No, was, we, was you day didn't day. go speeding. Yeah. Oh, yes, we did. That after, was the day yeah, after yeah, his birthday yeah, night. Yeah, yeah. He jumped on someone's car. We'll talk about that after. Yeah, we'll talk about that. There's so much to unravel. So, yeah, so I walk in. I said, you know, I'm too sober for this. I walk, I didn't even look at anyone. I just went straight to the bar. I got myself a double whiskey, I think it was, or double triple. Gin. It was triple. Yeah, yeah. Is and that how bad it was yeah. that you needed? And yeah. then there was this guy who was wearing a Hawaiian shirt. And that right? was Mr. Johnson no, Boys. No, no, Johnny Johnny came in fashionably late, as he usually oh, does. Oh, of course. And uh, But this guy with a Hawaiian shirt, we think he was um, a mark. Is that the word? Um, like... A plant, someone who was paid to be there. Right. Oh, right. Supposedly he was one of the contest, contestants. Yes. Supposedly he was one of the guys. That was like that was like me with but my speed team in front. He was so confident and he was like... Was he good looking? No. <laughs> but he was so confident and he said, oh, you know what, you'll you'll be fine tonight. I can see your nerves, but you'll be all right. And he was like... And I was like, oh, okay, cool. So he seemed too confident yeah. anyway. Mm. But anyway, so I got the drink. <laughs> me and Johnny went upstairs yep. with the speed dating. There was about 12 guys, and there was four girls, four or five girls. So it was a disadvantage already. Right. I heard Johnny. I overheard Johnny. I was on the opposite side. I would Johnny, have loved to record this. And Johnny, Johnny used Johnny, his riz, and he this said... Is, this is the guy that you heard on the phone. Yeah, this he guy. used his riz, and he said to her, so do you come here often? <laughs> really? <laughs> what else did he say? Uh, well, he was like, are we all comfortable tonight? Are we doing well tonight? Oh, no, but that was, that was yeah. no, do you have to guess this yeah. thing? That, yeah. So, yeah. Pretty, no, no, pretty right. much it got to the point where, like, um, it was a break, right? Yeah. And all the guys went to the bar or something do like that. you have a break during yeah. Yeah. yeah, so they went, they, all, all the guys went to the corner of the bar and they were just doing their silently. And, of course, Johnny tries to break the ice. So, oh, are we all feeling comfortable tonight? <laughs> we, we all broken the ice yet? I wouldn't like to see him on that. It's not show cold and it's like... It's one guy, and he like he has like thirty girls to date, and then he has to. Uh, the bachelor or something. No. Um, What's that called? It, it might be bachelor. The bachelor. Uh, yes, the bachelor. Could you imagine? Or it's not. It's not that one where it's like it's your guy, Paddy McGuinness. No, it's about. Oh, why? Uh, yes, take me, take me out. out. Yeah. No, no like it. No <laughs> like it. I think Speed isn't this great crack. No, I no, hate it. I hate I've, it. I hate I have, it. Right. There's only one. one hey, no, you I haven't heard the rest of it, right? Is it getting worse? Yeah, got worse. So. We were all sta- you know, like in kindergarten when you're standing awkwardly like kindergarten. That. We're not American, you swine. Well, whatever. We're so, Northern Irish. No, nursery. Can you <laughs> kindergarten. Well, my my nephew's American, so maybe that's why. Yeah, but you're but, not. So how does that work? I am American, dude. He's appealing to the wider audience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have yeah, to but get we only like, deal with the the swines of East Belfast. British swines. We right. deal with the swines of East so, Belfast. I'm West Belfast now. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so, uh, I went. I went to. I went to Newry on a date as well. But that's another story. But right. <laughs> so right, continue. Okay. So, uh, it's the end of speed dating. There's the four or five girls standing yep. there, and all the men are like talking to themselves and right. Oh yeah, then all right, you know. And then so we decided Johnny was talking to two of the girls, and I walked over. The girls were standing like this, and like, yeah, okay, okay. And I said, Johnny, we they're should not, leave. We should leave. They're not really interested. Yeah. He said, Oh no, I'm just warming them up. I was just like, I can't do this. <laughs> so uh, and they were standing there looking so uninterested. So I can't do this. Well, no, we can't be doing this to Johnny the whole episode. Anyway, so the other guys were still there. Georgie's done that himself. The other guys were still there, and one was like, "Yeah, I get all the girls." So I didn't actually like them. The reason they didn't match me is because I didn't like them. Like you know, it was my decision that I didn't yeah, like yeah, them. Yeah, so of course I've got know. girlfriends anyway. Yeah, and then yeah. he just walked off crying. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds so, like you. So the rest of us were standing there, complete silence, and then Johnny does this thing. Was like, "Are we all comfortable tonight?" Yeah. And they were, "Oh yeah, okay." <laughs> and then and and. Then there was a guy. Oh, he just the. Oh, just the he one. was the owner of a yeah. cafe we went to in Bellingham. No, but it's just not the one you told me. No, about. no, no, no. About he was. The, he was about the Thomas overseas. No, no, no. He was the owner of a cafe we went to in Bellingham more often. So he was getting on with this girl brilliantly. She was called Chelsea. She had big boobs. Oh, so hot. <laughs> uh, oh, the real name. Oh, damn it. Yeah. So. <laughs> um, Do you want to just put your type out there? Yeah. So th- this guy. He was so confident. He was probably the best looking guy out of all of us. And he was he was talking to Chelsea. 
and uh, they were talking for a good 30 minutes, and then this other guy, see, they were getting on so well, and then this other guy from this beat, then he just walks right over to them, and he completely cock blocks the guy, he said to him, oh, can I join in with you guys? And he pulled up a chair, and he sat right <sighs> and they were like, looking at each other, like, okay, and then he just started talking to her, trying to raise her up, and then everyone else joined the table. <laughs> so we're all awkwardly, we were awkwardly sitting there, and then the guy says, oh, guys, how about we all go to the Benedict's? For a, oh, for a night out, sake. and I was like, "All right." So the girls, <laughs> the girls get out. They're start. We're walking down, and and the guy has his car parked, and he's like, "This is the first time I ever picked up lads on a night out." <laughs> so we all sit in this. We all sit in the, in the back seat. Drives us to Benedict's. Yeah. This is like a scene from a movie, right? Yeah. Casablanca. We are sitting in Benedict's in the upstairs section. There is no, not one soul there apart yeah. from the bartenders. Yeah. We have our drinks in our hands. We're yeah. sitting like this. And you're like, yeah. oh, so how's your night going, lad? And you're like, yeah, okay. Slipping away. And then he said, do you think the girls will show up? And he's like, oh, I know show up because I got on well with Chelsea. Like, we got on brilliant. Yeah. 25 minutes later, 30 minutes later, the girls never showed up. We're still sitting there sipping on our drinks. And then one guy says, <sighs> one guy like, says. Is this only your yeah. yeah. He says, oh, I went to Czech Republic recently. And I, I went to a brothel. And uh, I fell in love with the prostitute. <laughs> Sounds like Johnny. <laughs> so that was that speed dating, Chris. So yeah. you can see why I'm a bit disheartened. No, the only reason that's why. That's a great night. No, me. but the only that reason. Class. No, but the no, but that's a mad night. Nah. Like these boys go out and you go stand the corner and go, "Where is nobody coming over to me?" <laughs> but that to me, that's fucking like a mad yeah, night. It was a story. Night. You know what I mean? It's a story. Yeah, it's, a story. It's, it's about your self esteem. Whenever you get one oh, match out of yeah. fifteen girls. Right, but that's only. Yeah, that's what he wants. And uh, no, and not even that. It got worse. That one match that I found out who it was, it was one of the actual leaders of of the, the organizers. Ah. She did it as a pity vote. But oh, actually, do that see, see in my no, no. I searched up. I searched up. She was the organizer of the. I group. she made one of the girls. Yeah, but she, she wasn't my type anyway. I got oh, a. But it was well, also a pity vote. Can't be so choosy, dear. <laughs> different women every time. I know. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I'm not spending like thirty all credit each time. Do, oh, do, do you have to pay? Yeah, you have to pay. You have to pay? Yeah. You have to pay. Extortion? It's but more than know, 20 now. They get to know you. They'll on the third down if you. If they need meals. They'll, but they'll what? No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, what are you getting for 30 pounds? 20 quid, you get a free drink. A lot of free drink, you get a drink and you get... I did in the Tipsy Bird. We're supposed to get a drink and a thing. You're going to the wrong one. <laughs> right, now hold on, hold on. Uh, Sorry, I'm just absolutely <laughs> blown away. In my right, what? so what booster? Well, they're facilitating. They have to book the thing room, so you're they're facilitating their night. So they obviously want to get paid for what yeah. they do. So why are people not just normally going and talking to because girls? Because it's the 21st century. So they don't do that anymore. Don't do that anymore. Call a creep. Yeah, so. you get call a creep. Why? You're only going to be. You're only really going to meet. I think. I think you're going to meet. If you're going to meet your other half, it's going to be online. Online, online yes. But if you don't want to go through the online route, it's probably or someone like, you work with. Yeah, yeah. an organisation of or some sort. Or an organisation, like, like a church yep. or something. Yeah. Yeah. Or like a, what's going to say, youth company. Yeah. But that's very sad. It yeah. is. That's that is word. very that's sad. That's the world now. This is a plea to all the women out there. Don't be bitches. And all I... the single ladies, <laughs> all the single ladies, put your hands up. Do you know what I mean? Like, two good guys, come on. I used come to on. think whenever that song came on and the women put their hands up, I was like, fuck, I was always single. Yeah. Uh, uh, he's, he's trying to search up their numbers. Do you know what I did? 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 There's this place called, oh, what was it, Moira? And it's where all the Hindus go. Mm. And it's closed now, but it used to be... Were you one of those stalkers? No, but it used to be like, <laughs> me and my mate, and another fella, and there would be all women, and just us three, right? Mm. But they're all taken because they're all hen parties. Yeah, and shit yeah. Like and I tried this, right? I <coughs> pretty much these boys to try this next time. I'm probably not going right? to, but I know I continue. I got my phone right and I said, lads, watch this, right? There's 99% women here, right? Uh -huh. I'm going to put a timer here, right? Uh -huh. See, for 10 minutes. No, for fuck's sake. Right? See all the women on the dance floor? Yeah. It's all women. Yep. Turn their backs at, for 10 minutes until... I, I guarantee you, so women will come over and, and talk to you, right? And they're like, you're fucking nuts. I've done it for 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Two women came over. But why? <laughs> why do you think that is? Because you're not psychology. Yeah, psychology. But that's what I do on a daily basis. Yeah, women, you get Yeah, but that's what I do on a daily basis. I swear to God, I was sort of chancing it to yeah. you. And two women yeah. came over and says, 
why aren't you dancing? Can't yeah. dance for but, yeah. but George, that's what I do on a daily basis in the nightclubs. No, I told you this. You're I, too no, scared, no, you're too no, 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 no. I do like you're Christmas. Too... That's no, what that's, no, do you know what you do? You play the cool guy, no, you just dance, no. you just do your own thing. Because you don't talk to them, you just drink. No, no, you do your own thing. You do your own thing. I think you need to actually think. Is an establishment like a bar yeah. where you're That's why I don't go. Exactly, right. But I, I done that. I done as a wee science experiment, and it fucking oh, worked. I to prove a point. It yeah. did work, though. It yeah. did work. I swear to God. Yeah. But you're right. See, when you go to meet someone, you're not going to meet anyone. No. See the girls that are going out. Yeah. They're out to have a dance yeah. and yeah. a drink. Yeah. And they don't want the fucking. Some didn't George? How come you're always there? No, no, I get it. A friend of mine that walks up behind girls. It's the worst thing you do. Never walk up behind a girl. No, no. Taps in the shoulder to turn around no. and goes. George. It sounds like. Dance every single time you just turn. Oh, no how about my story? How about my story no, with, the, with the hands? With my hands? With the hands? No, with my hands? don't Thompsons. dance now either. The hands? I love a good dance, oh, but. That was no, <laughs> right, no, 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 I try a method that you do as a science friend, right? You know, like you see in these rom coms, right? And the guy tries Why to. Why is it rom coms? I don't know, because that's where I got this from anyway. I, so I try this method in the nightclub. Like, this is Thompson's, by the way, so, like, I'm well, not going to. Yeah, problem. so there's a problem. No, 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 here, no, here's the thing, though. The two girls were fit. And so I thought, right, I'll give them a shot, right? Uh, there's the two of them, right? So I went like this. I said, pick one, right? So they picked on uh, the hand said will you go out on a date with me uh, and the, okay and then on the other side of the hand I think it was like yeah it was like will you go on a date so with me sorry, so she, sorry hold on you wrote this on your hand now on the other side on the other hand it said like no whatever so, uh, so, they, no. so no but no the, no the thing is though one of them said yes and obviously they saw it as like will you go on a date with me was she drunk no no she saw it she read it and then she just went wait dude <laughs> Say you're single without saying you're single. Uh, <laughs> I was trying, I was trying no, to do you, you need to think about this logically. <clears throat> Number one, in a bar, people are going to be drunk yeah. and then probably regret it the next day. George, to be oh honest. Yes. Number George. two, no, it's never happened to me. Number two, why are you always focusing on someone's looks? I'm not focusing you on people's looks. Do, do. No, you do. You reject girls. You're focusing on getting the buck. <laughs> George. And, and you know what? Uh, it's a road to ruin. Well, I George, have said realistically, you need to be thinking of other things. It's not when you get old. George, what to do in the first day? What if someone gets wrinkles? What oh, if they yeah. don't look the same? Yeah, like, I agree you need that. someone who's going to make yep. you laugh. You yep. need someone that you're going to have a good yeah. time with. Goes on walks. Yes. <laughs> no, I know he does. <laughs> oh, well, that's not good. Yeah. You know, but, so you need to think prospectively. You I need know. to do some. And to know what that also means on first days, don't do anything like that again. Oh, I guess. But I can't I believe you actually wrote that on your hand. Yeah, well, at least I didn't do it. It's like first when you were 18, you used to go around and go, join the circle of <laughs> trust. Join the circle of trust. The worst, you that next? the worst night we ever had, I think the worst night, it was at Limelight. Mm. I love Limelight. No, but this was bad. It was me, Thomas and Johnny. And, uh, well, that wasn't a good mixture. No, we, so. went up, we went up to the bar in Limelight 2, mm -hmm. and there was this American girl. Oh, no. She, yeah. she was really hot. She was hot, yes. Again? No, no. Really no. hot. But the problem was... Uh, no, you're not going to say anything that's going to get you into trouble. No, no, no. no. Please do, please do. After, after that night, Johnny ended up having to use an inhaler. I don't know why, because the girl what? gave us COVID. Yeah, the girl she gave, gave us COVID. heavy COVID. Me, Thomas and Johnny were yeah. in bed for like five, five, days. five days in a row. Yeah. Did and you Johnny, kiss her? No, none no. of us kissed her. We were this, about this close, yeah. about this close. And that, that's how we got COVID. We yeah. didn't even touch the girl. Yeah. And uh, she bought us free drinks, to yeah. be fair. But, yeah. um, Maybe she like spat in the cup or something Maybe. and then gave you? Maybe. Or maybe your fingerprints. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe she wiped her nose and fucking Could be. held the glass. Could be. <laughs> but, but Johnny um, Johnny was like, I, every time he walked, he had to use yeah. it. It was really bad. Like, And it took us weeks to recover. Yeah. It was bad. It was bad. It was bad. Now, we are coming close to the end of the podcast because uh, it's now over an hour. But I wanted to come to the final portion of the episode. So we were asked on Instagram no. by our followers to ask some no, questions. No, 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 no. To no, answer no. some questions. So I have the questions right here. So Kerry, <laughs> are you ready for this? No, you're not. Now all of us have to answer these. So the first question here, what is your favorite food? George, you go first. Favorite food. Food. Be quick about it as well. And pick one. <sighs> favorite food would pick have one. to be. Like if you were to eat something like on a daily basis, what would it be? That's your well, favorite food. My favorite food would be Polish dumplings, Ukrainian dumplings. Okay. Because that's not your favorite though, because you, no, you, you don't eat it all the time. I don't see it all no, the time. No, but it's my favorite. But if you were to eat something all Thomas, the time, that's your favorite food. If you were like, it's my treat. If yeah. you had the death penalty and yes. you had yeah. to pick like your yes, last meal. Yeah. Right. My mom is Ukrainian, and I grew up on <clears throat> quite exotic foods, and we always go to Polish shop because it's the same thing. Yeah. 
Yeah, savory filled dumplings. Okay. So it's just a sh- it's just a, a plain dumpling yep. pastry filled with savory. So you have spinach, ham bits, whatever, mm. and then strawberry, blueberry. Oh, unbelievable. Yeah. Put, put a bit of sour cream and a bit of sugar. That's nice. the best meal I've ever nice. had. Carrie? Are we talking about a meal here? Anything. No, food, it's whatever. Just, it's, I was just a single food. Yeah. Again, like you said, the jury, if you were to choose one food for your last meal. Tough one, this is a tough one. Yeah, it is a tough one. Probably tuna. I like tuna. I like tuna. I like tuna. I, I, I but would you have that would, would you have that for your last meal if you were to like uh, like a death penalty? Like what you said. the fuck's brain? <laughs> brain is like it's, it's, it's like it's like sunflower oil. Yeah. No, it's not like sunflower oil. It's not. Sunflower oil uh, sunflower oil. oil is like very like oily. Brain uh, is just Is I it think, a little water? It's like Yeah, it's like some I think water it's or yeah, like whenever obviously they take the fish oh, out. Yeah, listen, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. But <laughs> so tuna last salad? yeah, last meal though oh. I think probably no. like carbonara. Okay, yeah, carbonara. yeah, yeah, yeah. Or pizza. Oh I love pizza. Mm, no, it's all about the carbs, yeah. See that's the thing, you kinda of took mine as well because I was gonna say carbonara, but I'm not gonna choose that now. Um I have you tried like flip yet? No. No, not yet. What? Not What's yet. that? It's the pizza it's the pizza place down the road. It says, oh, the, that it says the, best the best in the world. world. Yeah. Is it open? Yeah. Can we go? It's only open yeah, let's go. it's only open like uh, it's not open today, I don't think. Oh, but no. oh. It's only open three hours a day. Yeah, because it's so popular. No, but it's like your guy opens when he wants to. Yeah. Um Oh I seen him on TikTok, yeah. I think. Because yeah, yeah, your fella travelled from England, yeah, didn't he? That's yeah. why he's been over that guy, that food guy's been over three times. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I would really love to ask him? Like, has he got like diabetes or like mm. anything like that? Like no, health problems? Me. Has he? He's lost he took he went on a big health kick last January and he's lost and he looks great. He's actually got a six pack now. Damn. Oh. Right, favorite food for me though. If it's not carbonara, I would say. Oh, it's a tough one. Caesar salad. <clears throat> See, I have been eating a lot of that actually recently, and I love salads? my Caesar. Uh, no, the Caesar salads especially. Do you know what? I would actually say that yeah, Caesar salads because I mean I've been eating that a lot recently. I, like I, I, I love I love my salads, uh, especially like the Caesar ones because like you get those croutons, mm-hmm. the chicken, the bacon, and love the sauce. it. What, if, oh, what cr- about if you sauce. were like death penalty and you <sighs> lost me? Like if you knew you were and everything, you, know, you, you would die. It's been banned. Yeah, I heard well, about that. Because this guy, a couple of He ordered too much, didn't he? He ordered yeah. everything. Yeah. <laughs> and they said, no more food after death penalty. So they just yeah. give you generic meals? Well, let's just say this, yeah. this is like pre-2020. Well, to be fair, I mean, like if someone is imprisoned and yeah. then they've got the death penalty, they've obviously done something that's quite severe. Yeah. So why would you then be treating them I know. to a nice meal? Well, then if it was a really, really true, he's badly. Uh, Classic cheeseburger. Happy you can, meal. I no, no, happy like, meal. like I would say, like a, like a double patty, double patty. I know. Uh, I'm just, I'm just like, like a proper Five Guys sort of five burgers. Guys. Yeah, five yeah. Guys makes me sick. Yeah, yeah. Right. So we have more. No, questions. no, Kristen, answer. Well, we have to get through well, these questions. Yeah. Yeah. Right. We have to go through these questions, right? So, now this is a good one, right? I'll ask you first, George. Was the assassination on Franz Ferdinand justified? Oh dear. I don't think so. I, I it wasn't I, justified. I can't recall. <laughs> I remember doing this in history. Yeah, that's the that's the one that started the First World War, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it did. Um, I, I think, think was he was a decent fella. I think he was all right. Yeah. Right. yeah. So but you think I, it wasn't justified? The black. I know the black hand killed him. I yeah, know that. Right. Uh, the, now the thing is that didn't single handedly start World no, War. No, obviously World it was War. all about money and all. And yeah, all there was there was different tensions yeah, building yeah, as yeah. it usually does, but. Uh, but that was the thing that kind of kickstarted. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't remember exactly why he was assassinated. Yeah. I, I have like no idea who this is. Do you know? Yeah. So do you know like I, I can't remember. Yeah. So that's the thing that started this, this, this assassination to have on this guy, Franz Ferdinand. He's like a politician. There's or a band called Franz Ferdinand, oh, no. isn't there? Yeah. Be, he's right, like, anyway. so what? What actually? What did he do? I don't know. I don't know what no, he did. No, but no one knows. There like, was a terrorist group called the Black Hand. They killed him. I yeah. think they shot him in the head. Was he in? It was like JFK style. Was he not in the car? He was, yeah, yeah, it was in the yeah, car. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was the, like a, so the, he was what? a politician, just? Yeah. No, he was a. Was I think he was a prime minister. Here the the I was reading that the the Nazi uniforms were made by Ralph Lauren or whatever. Yeah, 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 that's right. Well, it wasn't Ralph Lauren, right? uh, or who was it? There was the other one. There was one of them. The one of them, one yeah, of them, yeah. Tommy Hilfiger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Designing the fucking Nazi yeah. uniforms. Yeah, no, Hugo Boss. Hugo Boss. That's what it was, Hugo really? Boss. Yeah, Hugo Boss. One of the end ones, yeah. Yeah, it was Hugo Boss. Right, moving on quickly, because we have to get through this. There's loads of questions. Favourite weekend getaway? I'll let you ask him first. Favourite weekend getaway? 
like a place. Yeah, it just says a favourite weekend Probably getaway. Probably Donegal. Donegal Donegal's for the weekend. Nice. Yeah, Donegal's quite, like it's a fair drive, but once you get down there, there's quite a lot of stuff to do, nice beaches. Falls Road. Yeah. Oh, God. Limelight. Limelight is the best <laughs> getaway. <laughs> right. Right, moving on. Moving on. Uh, so our next question is, right, okay, we all, we all have to answer this. Do you know the story of Darth Plagueis the Wise? Mm. Oh, Chris. George, you want to finish Chris. the sentence? He was so powerful. <laughs> he was so powerful, powerful that he could even influence the midichlorians to create life. life. <laughs> and How can it. I learn such a power <laughs> not, not from, from a Jedi? Jedi. Star Wars. <laughs> right. No, I, <laughs> Gary's just like, we will, we will finish this. With That's why I love this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> is it so I nerdy? Like, Say the right. one with Jack. Oh, oh, so good. like the can you can so you nerdy. actually sing that thing tune to me while Pokemon. I'm singing? Right, so right, right. No wait, no wait, wait. Let's Which start. one do you want to do? Do the exact same one. Oh no, do different. Because I don't know any others. Uh, uh, and I'll tell you who so I did. Right. Okay. No, no, no. Right, no, no uh, do, do do the um, Diamond and Pearl. What's that one? It's all about the challenge. I don't know that off by heart. I only know that one. Do you know Jodo? Which one's that one? It's a whole new. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. It's, it's a whole new world we live in. Do, 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 do. It's a whole new place to see. Do, 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 do. It's a whole new place for a brand new attitude. But, but you still gotta catch them all. Be the best you can be. Do, 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 do. Pokemon Johto. Pokemon Johto! <laughs> I think we deserve like an Emmy or something like yeah, that. Yeah, anyway, so. like, okay, so last question. Yeah, last question. Now, this for, I would say this kind of relies on us, but you can have one as well for your business, right? What would be your theme song? If I, you were to have a theme I song. I actually, one night, was not fully intoxicated, but maybe a wee bit tipsy, and mm. I made this song up. Right. And I genuinely Is that the song you posted? No. I genuinely think that I should get this made, and it might be a, a, a one, one. one one hit wonder yeah. serving. Yeah. Do you know the Do you know the thing tune to? I can't even remember, but it's like, um, do you feel glamorously gorgeous? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Number one, mate. Yeah, that'd be class. That'd be class. Number one. That'd be class. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. George, what's your theme song? I pick uh, "Start It Up," Rolling Stones. <laughs> do, do the do the do the move. It goes like this, and he starts dancing like a dad, dad dancing. Yeah. What would be my my? my I know my theme song. Choo choo, motherfuckers. Do 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 do. Tommy, Tommy the Tank. Do 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 do. I grew up with Thomas the Tank Engine in his class. Do you know who I am? The fat controller. Did you ever watch Thunderbirds? <laughs> Classic show. I had, I had the, 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 the Adam sword. I got it for Christmas. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, we had just moved into the last bar in his house. And I had the sword and I thought I was fucking like, this is a four yeah, yeah. year old. And I was like, and all these bad, wee bad kids. And yeah, yeah. Like, they were like bullying me and I had this sword. Yeah. And my ma, right? My ma. Us, right? My ma. My ma. And she went in. And she fucking filled a bucket of water and yeah. right threw it over them. <laughs> I, I watched Thunderbirds with my dad growing up. I was so scared of Thunderbirds. Why? Seen it. I was so scared because I thought the those... Puppets? I, the puppets freaked me yeah. out. Do you know, yeah. do you know yeah. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang? Yeah. 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 I have PTSD. Do you know yeah. what scared me? What? Pingu. Pingu? Pingu scared the shit out of me. I did not want to watch it. Yeah, I, I love it. Pingu. I hated it. That scared me. That gave me nightmares. Really? Mm-hmm. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Like... I yeah, never no, not even that. I know what Bag, you mean. Do you know uh, bagpuss? No, I. No. Bagpuss. Yeah. You probably. Bed knobs no, and broomsticks is brilliant. Bagpuss scared me. Bagpuss scared me as well. Bagpuss scared me. Except during World War Two. Yeah, yeah. The, really? the, 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 the ghosts of the Vikings. Yeah. Or something yeah. Like that, yeah. To take on the, 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 the to take over a town. Yeah. Know? It's a Disney film. It's fucking nuts. Uh-huh. Chris, which Power Ranger were you growing up? Yeah. Uh, were you Tommy? That's, that's your yeah. era as well. Oh, there you go. I I, I loved the, see the Power Rangers film. Yeah. I must have seen the cinema so many times. The first one, yeah. Yeah, I still actually a good film. I actually yeah. stands yeah. up. He's got a film. I know he's dead now, but he's yeah. got but, a film coming out this class. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. But I love the turtles. I'm gonna see the new ones. The, the he doesn't Turtle? want to see. It. He doesn't want to see. It. I heard it's great. I heard Why? it's actually. Uh, he just doesn't want to. Know. 
Boy. Here, Tom yeah, Hurts really good things about well, it. Well, I might say, but did you see the crossover episode in Power Rangers with Ninja Turtles? No. It's one of the old ones, like Space Space Rangers or whatever. It's like really old. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I had all the, I have still all my turtle toys nice. and all uh, stuff, you know, like the, the sewers and yeah, all yeah, the yeah. fucking turtle van and nice. all that there. I think I still have my tunnels of tankings and stuff. Did you see Barbie? Yes. Was it yeah. good? Yes. Uh, I haven't seen I, I was, it yet. I, I would say no, no, I no, loved spoilers, up no to the point no, where no, it was all mas- I loved the point up to the bit where it was just all masculine yeah. and then after that just got bored yeah, for me. Yeah, I feel it was... It was too... It, it was, was too... It was too... A tad sexist. The yeah. A tad, a tad. tad. But I understand. Lads, dry your eggs. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, it's a fucking... He, it's uh, supposed to be stupid. I know, but here's, supposed to be here's the thing. Here's the thing. We were watching it and as soon as that guy slapped Martin Robbie's ass, he loved it. He's like, this is my movie. Yeah. He loved this. See, see, Kevin, all, see Kevin all in Kent. Yeah. That's what she's really like. No, uh, no, do you know what? See if I was the fine George, he's the guy who slaps Margot Robbie in the ass. That's see George. All them boys, see, go and see Barbie, and that's what these boys are. <laughs> it's what the modern guy is like. Are fucking pack of pussies. <laughs> right? and that's what, honestly, I don't mean any disrespect. Oh, uh, Chris. Right? Please, Chris is honest. Yeah, but that's here. You know, I thought it was hilarious. I thought uh, it was so funny. It was. I knew it was going to be good with Greta Gerwig yeah. and Ryan yeah. Gosling. He's and she's directing the new Mar- Narnia movies. Is she? Mm-hmm. Yeah, when are they set to be? Um, like two, so two years or so. I, I loved the Narnia movies. I know, I know, but I feel like Narnia no, they didn't finish it off. They didn't finish it off. They left it with uh, your voice of the Don. There's like yeah. f- three other books. Here, did yeah. you ever see the TV series, the BBC TV series? No. I, I loved it. Actually, I loved it's it. Scariest. I know, but I loved it. Yeah. I loved that series, yeah, BBC show. One the. But it is proper scary. Like, oh yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like it's children's fucking. Show. Like yep. nightmares, but yeah, yeah. Afternoon. I remember, yeah, yeah, I remember watching them. Right, anyway, we need to finish off this podcast. So, Kerry, how, ra- how would you rate your how experience? Would you, yeah, one how, would you, how would you rate your experience with us today? Great, so I think we've had great <laughs> Just fun. remember that you're best friends and that yeah. uh, you're supposed to help us get girls, so keep that in mind. Well, <laughs> I can try my best. I did, you know, I did sort of say, yeah, yeah, that, you know, yeah. But that's how you gone now. So um, the fact you even said that, yeah, you're getting yeah. fucked off. <laughs> My number is 079. Oh. <laughs> ah, that's yeah. right. right, anyway, um, Kerry, yeah. um, do you have anything to say? Because obviously we touched about it before about mental health. Mm-hmm. Do you want to have a last minute sort of like... Or do you want to plug um, your channel? Do you want to plug your business or like just anything? Like if you have anything to say to your followers or anything of like that, now is your time. What would you say? Well, it would be to not change yourself for anyone. Um, if you do find yourself having difficult times or, you know, everybody goes through difficult times. There's so many charities out there to help. There's Lighthouse, Samaritan, so many. Um, Women's Aid, all of that. And just be yourself. Don't worry about what other people think. It took me a long time um, to come to this realisation, but I'm now 24 and I am living my best life. Mm-hmm. Um, but now you have to deal with us assholes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but just, just be yourself. Um, go out, enjoy yourself, enjoy life. Don't let your mental health restrict you that much that you know you're you're down, you're depressed, you're in the house all the time because you know it's it's difficult when you're going through it. But once you get through, you know everybody says the light at the end of the tunnel. And there's been so many times where I've been there myself. And um, like I said, there's charities there to help you. Reach out to family or friends. I'm sure they would be able to help you as well. And yeah, just be yourself, love your journey, and if you just want to give me a follow, yep. I'm sure my text uh, Yeah, will be I will below. put it in the description below, and if it's going on TikTok, I will tag Carrie's uh, business in the TikTok videos as well. Yeah. Um, well thank you guys for So, yeah, me. thank you very much for coming on. Uh, George, uh, so we have a very special guest on our next episode, don't we? We do. Uh, so I'm I, excited for this <laughs> So, if you don't know um, William Thompson, he's one of the local comedians here in Belfast, so we are going to be graciously um, blessed, blessed by, his by his presence in our next oh, episode guys so uh, look forward to that so George that is the end of episode 8 I believe episode 8 crazy guys episode 8, eight, eight, episodes, eight episodes and another 2000 to go uh, <laughs> Chris get ready for another 2000 episodes I quit <laughs> <laughs> right guys thanks very much for listening and for watching and we will see you Bounce with the rhythm, 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 bounce with the rhythm